Hi guys, Steve Nicola up, Coach Baseball Right. Hey, I got a great request the other day about trying to talk about the issue of kids getting hit, especially younger kids, seven or eight years old, and they're a little bit they're a little bit uh, scared after uh, after getting hit. So, what is it that we can do maybe to um, to help those guys? So, here's some things that I would really suggest. Number one, right from the beginning of your season, I want you to create a climate on your team where you know, getting hit is like a good thing. You know, it, it maybe you give out stickers or something on their helmet for every time they get hit. Um, now, I'm not suggesting that you do this on purpose, but what I'm trying to do is create a climate with the kids to know that it's kind of part of the game, right? Because if you're giving out a sticker that, that it's a valuable thing to the team when they get hit, then it means that it's part of the game. So create a climate on the, for the team, for the kids, that, that it's a good thing when they get hit. Second thing, uh, at the beginning of the season, I want you to talk about what happens to a kid when he rides his bike and he, and he, uh, and he falls off. You know, they, they you know, have a few tears, they scrape their leg or their arm or whatever, and they always get back on the bike. So I want them to know that that's kind of a normal thing. It's kind of like riding a bike, getting hurt, but you got to go back. So we kind of do that at the beginning of the season, and we constantly, constantly reinforce that. Um, then what I want you to do, is I want you to get a basket of socks. And um, I want you to teach the kids using a basket of socks because I want you to throw some socks down the middle and throw some socks at them at the, um, where, you, where they're going to be hit. I want you to teach the kids how to turn their front shoulder in, in so when they get hit, they get hit back here. So we have to teach them how to do that. And I want you to teach your kids to do that with a, a basket of socks. Okay. Then the next thing I want you to do is, is um, make sure all the kids, um, especially the ones that are a little timid, you know, they've been, they've been hit now, uh, get a wiffle ball or a tennis ball uh, or a, 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 an incredible ball, a mush ball. And what I want you to do is um, throw some pitches from 30 feet with this ball uh, right down the middle so they can see where the ball leaves the hand and, and they're kind of learning where it's going to go. You throw some so it goes a little bit on the inside part of the plate. And then once in a while, I want you to throw it so that, you know, it's, they're going to have to turn in, make that choice. They know it's coming. They're going to turn in and get hit back here with a, with a tennis ball or a, a wiffle ball. Um, and finally, what I want you to do with a helmet on, send them down to, win, uh, to the bullpen area when your pitchers are throwing to the catchers uh, or they're throwing to a coach. And... Um, uh, have them stand kind of like a hitter, but a little further away so that they can begin to call pitches that are strikes or balls. And what I'm really doing here is actually having them kind of figure out when the ball leaves the hand at a certain spot, it's going down, it's going up, it's going to the outside part. Oh, this one's coming in. But just because it's coming in doesn't mean it's going to hit you. Okay? And I want them to have more experiences um, with making those decisions. And you can get that from the bullpen. And finally, for all the parents and coaches, this is one area you got to be patient. You have to be patient with the kids. Don't let them know that you're frustrated. Um, I remember when my son, who is, you know, he's 35 now, I remember when he got hit third grade, he got hit pretty good. And it, it, took, me, it took me almost a year, uh, maybe longer, to be honest with you, to get him back and to where he really wanted to do it. And um, you know, I didn't do any of these steps, you know, at that point. I didn't know them. Um, and I did get flustered a little bit with them, and that kind of made it worse. So, anyway, I hope these things help. Be patient with the kids and, uh, and get those kids going again right away.